This flux render took 1 minute and 15 seconds on my RTX 2080 Ti, while turbo mode slashed it down to just 18 seconds. But tell me if I'm wrong, doesn't it look even better and more detailed? Turbo mode activated. <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is Jal from Jal's AI Show and welcome back to another very exciting AI tutorial. In this video, we're putting the GGUF and the FP8 Flux versions in a head-to-head -head speed race. And then we'll take the winner and see how it stacks up against Flux Turbo. Let's settle this once and for all. We'll install the base models plus that Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa. We'll make some experiments and highlight the key settings so you can start generating faster flux images right away. If you're new to Comfy UI, you might want to check out my installation guide first. Oh, and all these tests are running on my setup with an RTX 2080 Ti with 12 gigs VRAM and 32 gigs of RAM. So without any further ado, let's get started. To get started, the Turbo LoRa was trained on flux dev. So we'll be downloading the Flux Dev model and not the Schnell version. So let's grab the FP8 Flux model from Hugging Face, download it and save it to your Diffusion Models folder. Next grab the Clip L and save it to your Clip folder. And one of the T5 text encoders, the FP16 versions offer higher quality but it's larger, while the FP8 version is faster. Save it to your text encoders folder. After that, download the VAE and store it into your VAE folder. Once these components are set, download the Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa by downloading this diffusion file and renaming it to Flux1 Turbo Alpha and save it to your LoRa's folder. Finally, you only need the workflow and you'll find it in the description below. Just drag it into your ComfyUI canvas. So here's the sampling components split up. This takes the place of the normal K sampler, but with more adjustable settings. On the left side, verify that all your models are properly loaded. This includes your FP8 Flux model, T5 text encoder, VAE, and the Turbo Alpha LoRa. Alright, let's bypass the Turbo LoRa for this test, cramp the steps to 28, and change the seed behavior to fixed. Let's see how it performs. And there we go. 1 minute and 5 seconds. Now, let's duplicate this entire setup, then bypass the old noodles. Instead of using a standard unit loader, we load the GGUF model, keeping the exact same seed for a direct comparison. The results are remarkably close. It's almost impossible to tell which output is better visually. But when we compare speed, the numbers don't lie. GGUF completed in 1 minute and 15 seconds, while FP8 model finished in just 1 minute and 5 seconds. So for this test, that 10 second difference makes FP8 the clear winner. Now, let me go back here and keep this image for comparison. Activate the triple aura and bring the steps down to 8. This is clearly a different result than before, so now we're evaluating both quality and speed. Look at these improvements. The bare strands have better definition, the hair show more individual textures, and even the skin pores are noticeably more detailed. That's a clear win for image quality. And when we factor in the blazing fast 18 second generation time, it's even challenging as the Excel models. Among many other things, I like that fire light casting on her face. This one is pretty simple and clear, so we can have a deep look at the details. And here we got a better skin shape and the face is well lightened. Tell me what do you think is better? Is turbo mode worth it or not? Let me know in the comments. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my Patreon to support the channel. See you in the next one.